Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are here again. Previously we did the Scatman challenge and we are going to go for another challenge now. We're going to go with Pika Run because apparently Pika Run's a really fun one. Uh, let's jump on in and see what we end up getting from this. Uh, so this one from what I've heard is that you only get trinkets or something. I'm not exactly sure on the exact, uh, the exact idea of this, uh, but let's take... We're not going to need keys too much. Let's take Azazel Stump, because I don't know what that does, and Liberty Cap, because we, we don't want this, because all that does is activate our active item. And yeah, we're going to try our hardest to live through this and see if we can get something cool going. Oh, no, it's the spiders. But yeah, so we have Mum's Box for the double trinkets, and essentially it seems like every... Like, I, th I, think, I think from what I heard, it's like every item in the game is instead of trinket or something like that. And we basically just have to try and win with just trinkets or... I, I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe it's something like if you get hurt, it gulps it or something. Let me try because we've got choking hazard. This guy can't hit me. I didn't realize. I never even realized mulligans can't deal contact damage. You kidding me? Also, sternies, could you please stop? Yep, that gulped both of those. Okay. So, let's... um. So, yeah, we've got choking hazard. So, of course. Um. Oh. We're Azazel now. Um... Okay. <laughs> All right, then. We are Azazel now. So let's grab both of these. Let's um, gulp them on a fire. Let's grab that. Okay. Yeah, so we're Azazel now. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but I'm not going to complain about it. Also, doubling effect with Mum's Box is really cool. Um, So we take this. We... Do we hurt ourselves yet or not? We probably want health before we hurt ourselves. Okay, so we're no longer Azazel. Maybe it's just like every now and again you jump in a room and you're Azazel or something. Possibly. Uh, we'll leave that turtle heart for now. Um, we'll take um, that one, yeah. Endless Nameless. Endless Nameless is actually a really good trinket that I feel is like severely underrated for the most part. Essentially what it does is it just makes it so that when you, um, when you use a consumable or a card or something, there's a chance that it just doesn't get used. Which sounds awesome. Double speed up is fantastic. We verped it apparently. I don't really know why, but we did. Oh no, we got Endless Nameless. I was literally just talking about it. Endless Nameless worked for us then. But yeah, this is a perfect time to be Azazel. I'm guessing the Azazel stump just makes it so that every now and again you become Azazel for a short time. Sounds pretty useful. Uh, polished Burn. Let's, um, okay, we lost a bunch of health for some reason, so let's, let's go and gulp them. Then we can grab this. Ah, oh, this gives us two hearts. That's what, that, that, that's what this does. This is literally giving us more HP. That's pretty cool as a trinket goes, as far as trinket goes. I don't know what that polished burn did, by the way, so that's, that's kind of unbeknownst to me, but we'll find out, I guess. And let's go. So yeah, as long as, basically as long as we're finding HP... We're going to be uh, trying to get as much uh, trinkets gulped as we possibly can. Let's jump on down. One moment. I had to sneeze real quick there. So I just had to pause real quick so I didn't sneeze right in your ear. Anyways. So this is actually kind of a really cool challenge. I'm liking this a lot. I've always wanted a, a challenge or like a run where it's just like mega gulp all the trinkets. Especially, I think they've probably done it because they added the ability for um, trinkets to be in the item tracker now. That's even a, like an even better reason to do so. Stem cells is a pretty good one to go with it. I think it heals us up at the end of each floor or something. It got changed quite quite a bit from what it used to be. Petrified poop. I don't really care about that one too much. I say that as I destroy four poops. Um, but still, yeah, that one's not too important to us. Hello, Bernie. How are you? Oh, we're Azazel again. This is such a cool trinket. Uh, we got the eye. Let's, uh, let's gulp these two. Good, good. Grab Kane's eye. Cool. I'm going to try and gulp whenever I can, honestly. Do you know what? Why not go back and get Petrified Poop? We seem to be getting a lot of stuff. Although, we got Samson's Locket now, so... I don't know what health I'm on. I'm still going to hurt myself to gulp. I still want to take the risk. Having these burnies with us, that must be what that, uh, what that little burn does that we've got. The little one with the sparkles. At the end of a room, chance to get a burnie. These burnies are fucking kicking ass, I can tell you that for sure. Also, we keep getting Azazel on the boss fights, which is fantastic for us. 
So we want to get hit one more time and pick up that health. Cool. We are gulping everything. This is fantastic. Really cool to see all the new trinkets as well. This is a this is a very good demonstration challenge of new items. That's always what the uh, challenges aim to do, I think, is always show off new mechanics and new items. And unique synergies. So it's really good to see that that's working like... Uh, Oh, Kane's eyes have been in effect right now as well. It's really cool to see that they've done a good job of, of uh, making that happen with this. Yeah, at first I thought it was just going to be kind of like a trinket draft sort of thing. And it was going to be like a hard challenge where you only use trinkets. But instead it's like, here's every trinket. Here's all of them. Go nuts. <laughs> Which I actually like a lot more. Here's every trinket. Go nuts is like a perfect, a perfect way to play a run. <laughs> Because it's just, yeah, it is literally just exactly what, what I just said. Absolutely nuts. It's crazy. The one thing I will say is it does mean that we've got very low damage. We are relying on a lot of external factors to, 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 to kill things. And one of those is these burnies. These burnies are actually kind of a big damage dealer. And then the uh, the odd Azazel transformation is also a big part of it. No, my burnies are gone. The hell's this been? My poor burnies. Right. So, yeah, it seems like the more rooms we do, the more chance we've got to get in these burnies. So, kind of a good idea to do extra rooms. Although, while I'm a Zazel here, we are going to go fight the boss again because it's been working out. Oh, we're not a Zazel anymore. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I only fight the boss as a Zazel. That's my rule. Um, Hive Mind. I don't know if any of these actually help us. Let's just buy the HP, shall we? And then I'm going to do another room just to see if we can... Uh, ooh, yes. Petrified poop against all these poops. Could get some soul hearts. All sorts of shenanigans. There we go. Azazel. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Mum's toenail. Definitely don't want to gulp that. Thank God it doesn't make us auto gulp things. Yes. Ooh, that's a new one. The twins, we unlocked this with uh, Jacob and Izawa, I'm pretty sure. Uh, get in there. Gulp it. We don't care about any of those, to be honest. So, yeah, let's just go. Uh, we'll take this and we'll be on our way down. Yes, yeah, so this is a really cool challenge. Really cool challenge indeed. This Azazel one is, is carrying us so hard, though. Uh, oh, yes, Endless Nameless just gave us double the gas. Thank you, Endless Nameless. You are underrated and brilliant. Look at this. Just annihilation. Walk into a room and our burnies are just like, what up? <laughs> it's time for you to die. We have a <laughs> we, we have a burn to pick with you. And here it is. 50,000 of them all at once. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Oh, curved horn. Yes, there you go. We now actually have some damage. Now we're not truly just relying on our fellas. We actually have some of our own damage. We gulped our trinkets as well. Kev Torn genuinely could be an item and be better than many. <laughs> That's kind of the crazy thing about Kev Torn. Same with Cancer Trinket as well. They could genuinely be items and still be better than a lot of the items that are already in the game. Also, it seems that when we enter a room because of that um, that Soul Twins or whatever it was called, the Jacob and Ezel one, it seems that whenever we enter a room, we have a... Ooh, an Ice Cube. We have a chance to get a Sister Maggie or a Brother Bobby. Because there you go. We, got, we just got a Brother Bobby look. Let's go through our boss while we've got a Zazel. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Um, Yeah. We get a Sister Maggie or a Brother Bobby or like both, one of each. Or like a lot. Holy shit. Oh my god. Every now and again, we fire Ice Breath. Every now and again, one of our shots is like icy, I think. I need to see that again. I want to see how I actually, if I can produce that on purpose, because that was awesome. That throws like so many enemies. Try and kill these guys over pits so they don't spawn anything. Damn it. Oh, well. Um, yeah, we want that. So we'll probably try and hurt ourselves here. Okay, we want all of these. Let's go and, let's go and hurt ourselves on some stuff. Gulp, gulp. Then we go back over. We grab this and whatever this is. Holy crown. Walk the path of the saint. 
One thing is, we're, there's going to be a lot of times where we just have absolutely no idea what certain trinkets do, and we're going to gulp them and just just have them and have no idea. Hit me. Thank you. I wanted to gulp all them. We have been a Zazel for every boss fight so far, so that's great. Two more trinkets. Both really good. This is just so crazy OP. Just just being a Zazel. I, I, I'm banging on about it, I, I realise. But it still is mental. I'm loving seeing all these new trinkets as well. There's some really, really cool ones in here. Really cool ones indeed. Okay, so we have some we have some item that's just when we walk into a room, one of the trinkets, it just stuns an enemy as soon as we ow. As soon as we walk into the room, it just stuns an enemy. I'm not exactly sure which one that is, but that's a pretty cool one too. A stud finder. Thank you. Grab that. I keep forgetting when we have flight and when we don't, because sometimes we're a Zazel. So sometimes we have flight and other times it's just gone. Good, good. Oh, the coin sound is so good. I don't know if they've changed anything about the look of this floor, but it just... Maybe it's just the mindset of everything being new, but something, something about it feels a little different. Maybe it's just the lighting. Oh, what's this little fella? The found soul. Oh, this is cool. This is one of the best challenges. I can say best challenges yet. We've only played two, and the other one was also really good. But still, this one's very cool. Long worm. Give me a hit. Hit me. Make me bleed. There you go. We've got so many flies as well at this point. It's kind of nuts. And he's frozen again. Right, let's go in there. Get our long worm. Tapeworm, even. I keep calling it long worm. I don't know why. And we're lucky. You're dead. Oh my god, we're so overpowered. Who knew the trinket strats would be so strong? Definitely don't want to take that. Like I said, again, very good that you get to choose. Oh, one of our souls just died. I don't really care about Poker Chip. I do like Judas's tongue. Apparently, Judas's tongue is also a lot better now with the rework deal with the devils. So definitely want to keep that on us. Because yeah, before half price deal with the devils didn't really mean anything because you could take a. You could take a, a two-heart deal for one heart a lot of the time, so it didn't really mean anything. And now it seems to. Maybe that ice block means enemies that are enemies that are frozen, like enemies that are um, like pentastone or whatever. They get frozen when you kill them or something, something along those lines. Where did you get Mum's knife? Where did we get Mum's knife from? <laughs> what? What trinket's giving us Mum's knife? We got Mum's knife for a room there. That's pretty cool. That's new. Um, I want to get her hit me. Why don't I just bomb myself? The crystal key. Call to the other side. Crystal key. Interesting. Yeah, we have a lot of trinkets now. It's kind of hard to keep track of what the hell's going on. It's the pin room. I doubt they'll have a good time at killing us, really, will they? We are uh, immensely powerful, considering we literally have no items. <laughs> This, this is the power of trinkets. Oh, yes, the devil's crown. I don't know if it'll work on this challenge, to be honest. But what it does is a really cool one from Antibirth. It, it turns item rooms into deal with the devils. So you no longer get items, but you have a deal with the devil that you have to pay for. Wow, that's a long range brimstone. Holy shit. That's a soul heart for us. Is this our last floor as well? This is going to be a quick challenge. Maybe we'll end up doing two this episode. We've got Mum's Knife again there. Really not sure where, that, where that's coming from. Thank you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we just took damage. We got Nun's Habit. Is that from the Wishbone? I think Wishbone is when you, when you get hurt, you have a chance of getting an item. I think it gets consumed when you use it once, though. So it's probably... Yeah. I don't see it in our item list anymore. It, it does still get uh, get disappeared when you gulp it. I kind of thought that maybe it'd, it'd let you keep on using it even though it was gulped. Doesn't seem like that's the case. Also, not having mapping here is, is pain. <laughs> I have no idea where we are or where we're going. I think we're going right here. Yes. Okay, good. We gulp again. Explosive diarrhea. Tonsil, which is still an item I don't really understand. 
There's like an item version and a trinket version. The trinket version turns into the item, but the item still counts as a normal completion mark for items rather than trinkets. It's it's bizarre. Oh, we're brimstone again. We are a zezel. Can you stop popping down as soon as I shoot, please? Thank you. God damn. Give us Mum's knife or a Zazel for our boss fight. Plus. Teardrop thing. Any tear effects have twice the chance of happening. This is another really cool one from Anti Birth. So, this here. It's a planetarium. We Okay, so I forgot to say. I unlocked planetariums off camera while I was playing co-op with my girlfriend. Just on a random run. And look at them. They're amazing. Of course, they don't actually work in... Oh. Forgotten all of that. I didn't even know we had that unlocked. I will bomb myself just to get that. But yeah, we got uh, we got ourselves a... A planetarium. That's so cool. Yeah, that guy... That guy just wanted to die, apparently. Hello, mother. This challenge goes to Isaac, too. I didn't realize... We can't really be be doing what we've been doing so far and just hurting ourselves on purpose anymore. Do we have any like formal healing either? I don't think we do, do we? The trink uh, trinket, not not trinket, uh, tinted drop there. Soul heart, good, good. Another soul heart from you. We'll take that. Will taking any of these actually start boss rush? They're not items. I'm going to guess they will. There's a lot of them in here, though. I'm guessing we can only take one, though, so it's probably not worthwhile, right? And if you get all of them, then that's definitely worthwhile, but I doubt you will. Probably get two at best. But yeah, first planetarium. Sadly, not an actual planetarium, just the room. <laughs> we didn't get any planetarium items from it. But for those of you unaware, planetariums are really cool. The way that they work is if you skip an item room, you increase your chance. So you have a 1% base chance of finding a planetarium at any given floor. And every time you skip an item room by like not opening it, not going in it at all, you increase your chance of a planetarium by 20%. Very interesting. And I've got a little tricky idea in mind that I want to test on a run coming up that might be able to... Um, might be able to abuse the mechanics of that in some, in some way. Which I think is probably intended, but I'm going to try it anyways. But yeah, also, this floor is looking fantastic. I say it every time we're here, but like, the, the wavy lighting effect and like, the, the sort of blood cell pattern on the floor, it's so nice. Do you know what? I'm going to turn the, uh, the high vis visibility bullets onto normal again. I like them, but they're a little intrusive. Definitely don't want the, the, uh, the apple. But my idea essentially breaks down to if you skip an item room, you have a higher chance of a planetarium, right? But if you're going to fight um, Dogma and the Beast, I believe it's called the Beast, I'm not 100% sure. But if you're going to fight them, then I'm fairly sure that you would be able to skip the item rooms, get a, uh, get a planetarium for skipping them, and then get them on the way back when you go up. Because you've skipped them and the items will still be in there. So you can get both planetariums and uh, your items, right? I think that works. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know why this opened the uh, thingy here. Oh my god, I've never realized how good Ultra uh, the ultra Greed looks there. He looks awesome. And the visits look so good as well. Why does everything look so damn amazing? It's because the devs of this game are the best people ever. Oh, we got a red room here. Oh, so... We have a trinket that randomly creates red rooms, red key rooms. I'm going to assume out of all the ones we have, it's probably the crystal key? Um... I'm trying to look at what else it could be. It's got to be the crystal key. That's the only key-related thing we've got that we don't already know. That isn't something we already have. Oh, I love the way that the new half Lokis look as well. They're like their their insides look so much more visceral, <laughs> so much more disgusting. I love it. There he is again. Okay, good that we got this stat up from uh, emptying our active item charge from Dimbulb here. 
It's going to be, um, it's good. Sorry, not Dim Bulb. Uh, Faint Bulb, I think it's called. But it is going to be sad not having Dim Bulb and stuff anymore. Uh, none of those matter. Oh, look at that wavy effect. It's so fucking cool. Oh, I love it. I, I'm sure now that we're like probably like three weeks into videos now that me gushing is a bit much, but still, I love it. I will always gush over new stuff. Always, always, and forever. Right, top in here. Three runes, Anzus, Degas, and Anzus. So Anzus is of course a given. Um, Degas, again, is a given. And then we just keep an next. Oh, we got another Degas. Endless Nameless, pulling out all the stops for us here. Fantastic stuff. God damn, the range. The range on our Brimstone is mad when uh, Liberty Cap pops off for us. I, I mean, it's Liberty Cap, but it's also because we got the, um, the, the Long Worm. Don't really care about- Oh, what colour is this? What is this? Oh my god. That's beautiful. That is legitimately beautiful. Holy hell. Oh, we got another red room in there. Another red key room. I can't wait until we find red key on a run. Red key is such a cool item. Go on, boys. Get him. The sigil... Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of red rooms here, actually. Child Leash is also very good for us. I just realized there's like a ton of red rooms here that I didn't realize. It's made, it's made a lot of them. So if you, by the way, for those of you that don't know how red key actually works in like an actual room when using the item, essentially anytime you see a room that like a space that isn't occupied, there is a, there is, like, you can use a charge. Oh my god, we're making so many rooms. You can use a charge of the red key to create an additional room on the floor. And that room can exist as any type of room in the game. It could be a combat room, which is most likely. It could be a secret room. It could be a shop. It could be an item room. It could be a deal of the devil. It could be a boss room. It can be literally anything. Anything. Um, and basically, as long as you have the charges to keep on using it, uh, you can make it in as many in as many rooms as you want until you reach the very edge limits of the map. Very cool. Uh, let's hurt ourselves a little bit here. Boom. And then we can grab that and that. And then we can go up. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of the most interesting items in the game. And probably one of the most powerful as well because it gives you the opportunity to get a lot more items than normal. And deal with the devils and just all sorts of stuff. And this is again... Oh, so the, the, the crown that gives you the deal with the devil item rooms actually works in the cathedral, too. Didn't actually expect that. It's very interesting. There's another red key room. So this this item seems insanely good. This uh, this shattered key or whatever it was called. There's that deal with the devil item room. We don't need that, but yeah. The deal with the devil thing, it's, it's very good. We got a sun card. Uh, that's very good for us. God, the farts. Whoa! What is going on? Why are we creating so many flies right now? We've got like a baby that's got a bunch of flies around him that moves like one to one with our movements. Interesting. we got a shop in here too. Batteries. Yeah, why not? Whoa! the hell? Can we gulp that? Interesting enough. Grab that. Okay, we got mum's knife again here and it's gone. Oh no, no, we still got it. We still got it. Boom. <laughs> the ice is so cool. So maybe it's like a 10% chance or like 25% chance to get uh, the, the red rooms. But they seem relatively common. We're getting a good amount of them. This little soul thing seems insanely good, by the way. Where we have this little Isaac soul. It seems to be able to produ produce the same amount of flies as and everything. That's new as well. Also, we have so many explosive flies. It's mad. And we got Mum's Knife again. Yes. Whoa, look at these little stabby dudes. They have Mum's Knife too. Look at them. 
these little guys. That's so cool. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Fantastic challenge. Got to see a ton of new trinkets in action, if not a little bit melded together. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait, actually, we unlocked the ice cube. Let's hold off on that. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.